بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ ار یو مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اف گریڈ 5 آئی ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن ہیئر از یور ٹیچر مسز سناول فار دا سبجیکٹ اف یور انگلش ریڈنگ اینڈ رائٹنگ ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اور نیو لیسن وتھ اے ٹاپک فارسٹ آن فائر دس از لیسن نمبر 3 اف یونٹ 5 یو ول اسٹڈی دا مین ٹیکسٹ اف دس لیسن فرام پیج نمبر 338 ٹو 341 اکارڈنگ ٹو دا جان روئی اٹ از این ایکسپوزٹری ٹیکسٹ We are going to start the reading of the lesson. I hope the book will be open before you. Forest on Fire, page number 339. A few years ago, several red squirrels, an endangered species, had a temporary home at the Phoenix Zoo. Rescued from a ravaging wildfire that had already destroyed thousands of acres of land, The squirrels were waiting for the fire to be extinguished before being returned to the wild. Forest fires are part of nature, so it is important for us to understand not only how to fight fires but also why they occur. My dear students, you can see a picture. Here you will see a lot of trees or woods which are present in a forest are on fire. So what are the causes of such kind of fires you will see in this lesson Our next paragraphs start with the headline destructive and productive Like rainstorms wildfires are a force of nature However unlike rainstorms wildfires are almost everywhere in their way including plants trees and animals sometimes they take human lives and homes as well like a big storm the destructive power of wildfires is terrifying on the other hand naturally occurring wildfires are also productive forces whether their flames race through a forest a prairie or acres of bush these fires produce necessary changes in their environment like when they can allow new life to flourish in the next paragraph start with the headline benefits of naturally occurring wildfires a naturally occurring wildfire sometimes called a forest fire happens without a human cause these factors must be present for one to burn These include fuel such as dry grasses, oxygen which is in our atmosphere and a heat source to ignite the fuel. A lightning strike usually sparks a naturally occurring wildfire. The danger of fire is highest during a drought when an area has experienced a little rain. The last paragraph of page number 339. Wildfires have happened throughout history. and they help to regenerate earth and its species when vegetation decays wildfires clear it away so that new plant life can grow now we are going to start our page number 340 fire also releases nutrients back into the soil making it more fertile and by eliminating leafy canopies of mature trees fire allows nourishing sunlight to reach our forest floor Often this new plant life will be better adapted to fire than what existed before. Some species will have fire resistant roots, leaves or bark. Other species will actually depend on fire to reproduce and thrive. The next headline is my dear students stability and diversity. Among its benefits fire promotes stability. by eliminating invasive species that can take over an area fire encourages the healthy growth of a region's own vegetation at the same time fire promotes diversity it ensures that plant life will exist at different stages of development for example a forest struck by fire will have a new will have new seedlings not far away 
in a forest struck by fire 20 years earlier there may be small trees and nearby there may be a forest of mature trees untouched by fire for years you can see a forest is on fire it might have been caused by any lightning strike or any other human factor further details you are going to come across in the coming paragraphs page number 340 these variations in plant life provide food and habitats for different kinds of insects birds and mammals woodpeckers eat insects in burnt out trees sparrows depend on seeds for food predators such as foxes are drawn by small prey forests at different stages attract a diversity of animals to our region now we are going to start our new page that is 340 the headline is the human factor although wildfires have benefits they also are feared and misunderstood as a result our government try to suppress them completely throughout the 20th century. This policy had a negative impact on the environment. The gradual buildup of the decayed vegetation provided more fuel to feed fires. Consequently, wildfires became noticeably fierce. More recently, the, go the government has used two different strategies to manage wildfires. One is to try to limit fires before they burn out of control. Before they burn out of control. The other is to set small prescribed fires to reduce the amount of fuel in the environment. Hopefully the danger of catastrophic fires is now receding. Unfortunately, human carelessness such as a campfire left to smolder also can start a fire. While a natural or prescribed wildfire can be beneficial, this is not true of fires that result more malice or mistakes. This happens at times and places that may cause irreparable damage to plant, animal and human life. Fires cannot control themselves so humans will always have to figure out how best to handle them. My dear students, we have studied the main text of lesson number 3 of unit 5 whose topic is rest on fire. What you will do at home, you will read the whole lesson again at least two times. This is your homework. Thank you very much for attending the online class. See you next time with a new lesson. Till then, bye-bye.